So I wanted to do a quick video that would show just how to measure um, how good of a recording your computer is capable of doing. And I hesitated to use the word good um, because the perception of what is good and what is not will obviously differ from person to person and it also depends on what you're planning to put the video on in the end. Is this going to go on your 50 inch TV to watch as a movie or is it going to go on your iPhone to watch on the airplane or something like that, you know, so I don't want to use the word good or not good, but I do want to deal with things like people say, oh my, I get this issue, my frame rate is too high and what can I do to get rid of that and or my video doesn't look good, but what, etc, etc. So in pretty much all the other videos I talk about some of these things like Windows Best Performance Mode, but I just wanted to make a video specifically for that. Okay, so without wasting any time, I'm going to come to the settings and I'm going to set something um, that I know is just not going to work. I'm going to go to Enhanced Mode, I'm going to set like 12,000 kbps, I'm going to set 50 frames per second, I'm going to set an extremely high audio. Um, you know, I don't want to crash my computer here, so let's just go 8,050 frames per second. And we'll name the recording Test001. And we'll close this guy. Okay, so I have a YouTube video here. And I'm going to just, I don't really care where the markers really go. Okay, so let's start the recording and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to click record here. I just muted the audio. Um, in a minute, we should see something here saying frame rate too high. Okay, good. So that's a message that people get, um, and they want to know what to do about it. So first, let's play back that video and see how it looks. I'm sure it's not going to look good at all. Okay, now you see how this just jumps around all over the place. Right, so this this is the result. I mean, it, you get a recording like this, you just say, "Oh, this this program's POS, and I'm going to get rid of it." No, there are many things you can do. Okay, first of all, uh, you want to see what's going on. So now you can see my desktop, uh, my my taskbar here. Okay, so I'm going to play this again, start my recording, and. Now it's recording, I'm going to right click on my taskbar and click start task manager. Okay. By default, it'll probably show up like this. So let's do it again. Right click my taskbar, start task manager. This is the same for Windows XP, Vista, and 7. Okay. So let me uh, move this over to the center. Now, what I'm going to do here is click the performance tab. Okay. I'm going to take a look at what's going on. Um, the computer I'm recording this on is not the most powerful computer, but it's, 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 it's pretty fast processor-wise. And you can see I'm, I'm loading this guy way too high right now, like 50%. Okay. Now, in some cases, in my situation here, all I have is a frame rate that's too high. Okay. And the result is a choppy video. But there are other things. You may not necessarily see frame rate too high, but you might play back your video and it just doesn't look good. Okay, so that's what this test is for. You start the task manager. First, obviously, start a recording as you normally would and come here to the task manager and take a look at your processor loading. Okay, now I'm just going to tell you right now my processor loading is going to be high no matter what because I'm recording the video of me recording these other videos. So, But like right now, you see that when I move this around and all that good stuff, it seems to be pretty smooth and even then I'm at 30% loading. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. If, you, if your processor is maxed out 100%, nothing's ever gonna look good. Okay, so what are the solutions? What can we do? Let me move this back towards the middle here. Okay, what can we do? Well. Number one is, actually, I'm very impressed at 8,000 kbps and 50 frames per second that uh, my processor loading was so low. This is because the video format I chose was MPEG-2, okay? Here in WM Capture, we give you a few options, Windows Media, MPEG-4, and DVD. 
I really only use MPEG-2 and DVD. Okay. Now, if you want to use the other two, that's fine. That's why they're there. But I've found that MPEG-2 is by far the best for this for this application. Now, for example, when I render this movie that I'm making, this instructional video I'm making, I'm going to render it in MP4, MPEG-4. Okay. But for this application, I always choose MPEG-2. Okay. Then I usually like to start around 6,000 and 29.97. The reason I choose 29.97 is because if later I want to convert to DVD, this just makes things easier. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and close that. And I'll bring my YouTube window back here. Okay. Make sure my markers are still in the right place. And of course they're not because I moved everything. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is with these settings, I'm going to go ahead and start my recording, click play, and let's bring up the task manager. Okay, so my CPU usage is still a little high. I mean, but this should result in a better video. Okay, I'm still getting frame rate too high. Okay, over here. See? So, even though my processor loading is okay, the video is still probably not going to look very good at all when I try to play it back. Let's have a look. No, not really. So, as I'm saying, as I was saying, what I would do in this situation before I start playing with my video settings, before I do anything, okay? So let's just back up for one second, just in case anybody got lost, because it might be a little complex if this is your first time talking about things like video bitrate frames per second. So if you do a recording, I recommend setting it up like this 6000 kbps, 29.97, MPEG 2, okay? If you want to do a DVD, I have another video on how to set up DVD recordings, okay? Uh, you should refer to that. Now, so you set a name and you set your recording markers and you record. Um, if you see frame rate too high, okay, that's issue number one. Okay, the video is not going to look good. If you don't see frame rate too high, but when you play back the video, it's choppy or lagging or audio out of sync then you should check your processor loading as I showed you before. Okay, so those are the two scenarios. Either the frame rate is too high or the processor loading is too high. Either one is going to screw up the video quality. Okay, so what can we do? Number one thing if you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista is to get rid of the Windows 7 Windows Vista graphics. Okay, you can do that by opening WM Capture Settings. So let me practice this with you. Settings tools right here windows best performance okay this will bring up this window right here and you can see all these things here are ticked and the one that is chosen is let windows choose what's best for my computer mm -hmm. let's choose adjust for best performance oh wow all of these become unticked okay i'm not going to do it right now um, but if i were to do it this transparency, all the fancy graphics, the smooth edges would all go away. And you'd, you'd probably free up about 20% of your processor and a bunch of RAM right there just by doing that, okay? So then you can come, reopen your recording window, try it again, you know, check here to see if it says frame rate too high, open your task manager, see if the processor loading is too high, and if it is, then we can try one more thing, okay? Oops, I didn't mean to close that. Not a big deal. You can come here to your video format and select it, and you'll get this settings window. Change to basic video settings and disable video preview. Okay? Click close, close, try again. Again, if you still see frame rate too high, and you still see, and or if you see your CPU usage is still too high, then unfortunately now in this situation we need to start dropping the settings okay before you drop the frame rate the first thing I would recommend actually before the first thing I would recommend would be to drop the frames per second to 25 okay 
leave the bit rate around 6,000 and try again. If you're still getting it, you can try dropping the frame rate to 20. Okay, leave the bit rate around 6,000. I would not go lower than this, 20 frames per second. Actually, many screen capture programs like to use 15, but that will not look good no matter what. Okay, uh, if you're still either your processor loading is too high or you're getting frame rate too high, try to drop the bit rate down to 4,000. Okay, this is around this is something around DVD quality ish. Um, again, I wouldn't go lower than four, maybe three thousand, but you're really pushing it with these settings here. Okay, but if you come down to four thousand, for example, and everything's working fine, then maybe you can try to bump your frame rate up a little bit, back to twenty-five. Okay, so you see in this process of subtracting here, adding here, because obviously you want all these numbers to be as high as possible. Okay, um, once you find the setting that works for you, then you're good. Now. Let's say you say, well, I'm down to 1,000 kbps and 15 frames per second, and I'm not getting any warning messages anymore, but everything just looks, looks so bad. Well, in this case, you, you probably um, have either a single core computer um, or maybe an older system, something like that. You can come to recommended settings and say single core computers and say videos, MPEG, and click OK. You see that even in that recommended setting, we still do 4,020 frames per second in MPEG 2. So if you're at anything below this, um, unfortunately, your computer probably doesn't meet the specifications to run a screen capture program. Uh, because WM Capture is actually pretty resource friendly when compared to some of the other uh, programs that are out on the market. Okay? So. Um, hopefully that answers some questions about what kind of what quality uh, what kind of quality recordings can I get from my system? Um, how to basically check your system to see what kind of recordings can you do, um, and how to basically set things up in the most efficient way possible. Okay, so hopefully that was informative, and we'll see you next time.